the race director wasn't sure how many runners would show August 14th. In fact, when Major William Connor, who was deployed here at Camp Leatherneck, Afghanistan, came up with the idea for the Major Megan McClung Memorial Run forward, he wasn't sure he'd get very many runners at all, especially since most personnel aboard Leatherneck put in 12 to 16 hour days. By the time everyone was registered for this 5K event, more than 500 runners were at the starting line. Megan had a motto, her, her motto was, uh, be bold, be brief, be gone, and that's how we're going to start the race today with Colonel Reynolds. Hey runners, be bold, be brief, be gone. Major Megan McClung was the first and highest ranking female Marine officer killed in Iraq. She died in 2006 when the Humvee she was riding in struck an IED. She was an avid athlete and helped coordinate the 2006 Marine Corps Marathon forward in Iraq. Woo! This go. run was held on the same day as the official memorial run at Naval Air Station Whidbey Island, Washington, coordinated by her parents, Dr. Michael and Ree McClung. We know about the long days that they put in, and we know about the mission there and how tough it is. And so for them to come out and be willing to run and think about our daughter while they're doing it, it's just phenomenal. It is. I mean, uh, when uh, Major Connor told me he wanted to do this, I was thinking at the time he might get 40 or 50 people. And when he told me he had passed uh, 300, was on his way to Ford 500, I asked him if he was going to have anybody left to man the perimeter. <laughs> the winner? Well, according to some of her friends and colleagues who are ironically deployed here with 1st Marine Expeditionary Force Ford, the same unit McClung was with when she died, she was the winner. Uh, I thought a lot about Meg over the past couple of days before we got ready to run a race and uh, in this morning and, and just looking around and, and wondering what she would be thinking about all this. Um, she was a very low-key person. Anybody who knew her saw the boundless energy that she had, but she didn't try to draw a lot of attention to herself. So part of it is, is you wonder if she would wonder what all the fuss was about over, over one woman. Uh, but part of it, I think she would be very humbled to know that these people were coming out and, and racing in her memory and racing in her honor. I heard about this race and I thought, this is fantastic to be honest with you. I never forget some of the Marines that we've had go before us and uh, make the ultimate sacrifice. And uh, Major McClung was certain one I'll never forget. Keeping with the tradition McClung created, giving a stuffed penguin to the last finisher of the Marine Corps Marathon to recognize perseverance, her parents sent a more unique, up-armored prize for the last finisher in Afghanistan, Corporal Stan Dillo. An armadillo. Never quit. Finish the race. That's up to the Although cliche for any competition, saying that everyone was a winner would probably be an understatement. According to the few people we spoke with, among the masses of service members and civilians working overtime seven days a week in a combat zone, there is always time to honor a fallen comrade. Reporting from Camp Leatherneck, Afghanistan, Gunnery Sergeant Stephen Williams.